Hi, it's David Bob from IT Jungles. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, tips and tricks on how to use the home screen. So when you first um, got your Samsung Galaxy S5, you will be uh, presented with a few screens only. So I'm going to show you how you can add more screens to the phone. Now on the first uh, item here, this is the My, My Magazine screen. It basically uh, aggregates all the different kind of news and information into one place. So you can quickly uh, browse through and see what's going on. If you um, scroll down, it also has uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Google Plus, YouTube, and some other things as well. So this basically allows to um, show some of your social uh, data information on this particular screen. So um, if you are really busy, you can uh, quickly uh, go to this screen and then uh, browse it, move up and down the screen to see what's going on. Now to um, see what's going on, you can um, to control this screen. You can tap on the menu key at the top and then go into settings. Once you're in settings, there are new section and there are social uh, section that you can uh, choose. So you can select what kind of news you want to uh, display. So technology, arts and culture, business, books, today's pics, and so on. And down in social, you can also choose what you want to display. And then from that, you just go back. So you need to tap on this particular box to sign in. So once you sign in, then it will pull the information out and display on this particular screen. Now, if you want to go in to read a new story, simply just tap onto it and we'll open up uh, Flipboard. And then from here, you can then browse uh, for more stories. If you don't really like this uh, micro, my, magazine uh, screen, you can turn it off. So simply tap and hold onto the screen and tap on home screen settings. And you can tap on my magazine checkbox and this will basically remove the magazine uh, tab. So you can see now that uh, that particular screen has been removed. To add more screens to your phone, so you can um, put more shortcuts and widgets onto your screen. Simply um, tap on the edit button here. And all you have to do is just move all the way to the right. So here it is. So move it all the way to the right and tap on the plus icon and this will allow you to add more home screen. So if I just tap on add, you can see it's adding more home screen. You are allowed to have up to a maximum of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you are allowed to have up to a maximum of seven home screen on your S5. So this very, uh, these are very similar to the S4. So here you go. You can now switch to all the blank screen and add more um, shortcuts and widgets. So simply tap and hold to the screen, and from here you can tap on widgets. Then, then let's say I want to drag the um, the clock, so I drop it down. So now the, um, this particular time uh, widget is all now placed on my uh, home screen. Um, what else can you do? So you can um, um, remove um, icons from the desktop by simply tap on the edit button at the bottom here. And then you can drag that one and then just move it to remove. So I'm just going to delete this um, S planner. So I just drag it to uh, remove. And then tap on save. Now, how do you create new folders on, on the home screen? So you can group a similar apps icon into one folder. So just tap on the edit icon at the bottom here. Then you need to have an app that available so you can create a folder. So let's say if I want to create a new folder. I'll uh, uh, tap and hold to this gallery and then once you hold to that uh, a new pop-up appear at the top simply just drag it to create new folder and let go of your finger and then a new folder is created so you need to give it a name so I'm just going to say test and then tap on done and now we have successfully created a new folder test and then just tap on save so you can see here by default, my home screen, um, default home screen is on the first item. You can place any, um, you can set any home screen as a default home screen. screen. Basically what you have to do is uh, tap and hold to the one of the screen. And then at the top here, oops, tap and hold to that. And then move to the screen where you want to set as the default. And tap on the home icon at the top. And you can see now this will become your default home screen. You can also change the. Um, you can also set the wall um, paper here. So simply um, to change the wallpaper of your home screen, tap and hold to that. Tap on wallpaper at the bottom, and then you can set the um, the background for home screen, lock screen, or home screen and lock screen. So tap on that, 
and then from here you can uh, choose a background you can also um, tap on more images and choose a background from the gallery because I haven't got any pictures in here so it doesn't show so I'm just going to cancel and let's say I want to choose this particular colorful background oh that's too colorful okay I'm just going to choose this brown one here and then just press on the set wallpaper at the top and that's it that's how I can set a new um, uh, background so similar if you want to um, uh, edit any icons on the home screen all you have to do is just uh, tap and hold and once you tap and hold then you will go into um, edit mode or you can go into one of these mode here or you can just tap on the edit icon at the bottom here and it will immediately take you into edit mode and you can move icons around so to move icons around to other screen you can just tap and hold onto it and drag it to the left or to the right and let go on the screen that you want to drop it tap on the save button at the top here to save and that's it another excellent feature of the home screen is the slider bar so this bar if you tap and hold to the bottom here it becomes a slider bar and you can quickly drag across the screen and if you need to uh, find apps on the home screen you can just quickly slide to the left to the right like this and you can quickly locate an app that you want